a plane believed to be carrying unaccompanied migrant children landed in Knoxville late last night. Now this comes days after the White House confirmed the administration is moving children through Tennessee to meet up with family or sponsors while they seek asylum. Well, new at six, reporter Blake Stevens has been working all day to confirm exactly who was on that flight. He joins us now. Blake, what'd you find out? Well, Lori, we reached out to officials over at the White House, city leaders in Long Beach and the airport. We still don't have a definitive answer tonight. And uh, a spokesperson for the Office of Refugee Resettlement, part of HH, uh, HHS, uh, just says they do provide transportation to unite children with families or sponsors. A statement reads in part, their families or their parents and relatives are located across the United States and ORR contractors use various transportation modes to unite unaccompanied children with their families, including air and ground transportation options. Now I heard from a few Tennessee lawmakers wanting answers. This is video taken by our crew just after 11. It shows a flight landing in Knoxville from Long Beach, California. You can see children and adults stepping off a plane and getting into buses. What you don't see is where they go next. We're not really sure where the kids are going and, and how do you verify if, if they are in fact refugees, the refugees' kids, how do you verify that these are their, their parents that are picking them up? So I have some real concerns there. It's why Representative Tim Burchett and other Republican lawmakers are calling on the Biden administration to provide answers. When we talk to the departments in Washington, they in fact are not really sure who, who is doing it. And if, and if they are sure, they're not saying, which is, which is to me is in violation of, of the, the trust that we have with these organizations. I mean, we, we fund them, they're supposed to be more forthcoming with information. More unaccompanied children were actually released in Tennessee under the Trump administration, but Congressman Chuck Fleischman says this is an issue the previous administration was making progress on. These people literally felt incentivized by Joe Biden to come to this country. That's what they believe. We were told if we come, we will be welcomed, we will be accepted. Under the Trump administration, the numbers finally had dropped. We had seen some semblance of, of order brought back into a very chaotic system. Now, our sister station in Los Angeles reports more than 700 migrant children were staying at the Long Beach Convention Center as of three weeks ago. Again, flight records show that plane leaving Long Beach at 425 and landing at McGee Tyson around 1120. All right, Blake. Now, Lieutenant Governor Randy McNally and House Speaker Cameron Sexton have announced a new joint study committee on refugee issues to investigate refugee resettlement and immigration in Tennessee. The task force will investigate the recent reports of unaccompanied minors entering the Chattanooga airport. We'll keep you posted.